the story of the mahabharata can be said to begin at many points in the narrative but if you come to understand the epic from the point of view that it is an account of how karma functions then it becomes clear that every event is both a result of what happened before it as well as a cause of what followed so let us start our story on the day when king shantanu of hastinapur was in the bank of the ganga and fell in love with the resplendent river goddess shantanu asked her to marry him ganga said yes but she also had him promise her that he would never question her decisions the love struck king agreed to all that she asked for a time they were happy and the people of hastinapur were happy with them but when the couple had their first child queen ganga drowned it king shantanu was devastated but he kept his promise he asked his wife no questions he said nothing as one by one queen ganga killed their next six children but when their eighth child was about to meet a similar end shantanu could no longer hold his silence when he asked his wife why she had killed their children he was told about the eight vasus who had been cursed to live mortal lives for a crime committed long ago ganga had agreed to give birth to the eight celestial spirits and free them from mortality as soon as they came into this world after telling shantanu the truth ganga left him and she took with her his one remaining son next week on epified the eighth son will return these waves of consequence eventually find their way back to you if not in this life then in another life as a young woman she fell in love with agni the god of fire and after their marriage became a goddess in her own right